Hello and welcome back to episode 11 of Super Spurs with me, DJ MFM. And in today's matchup, we're playing against Everton in the league. Um, as a result of some of the early fixtures being played, we're currently sitting in fifth position at the moment. Be taking on Everton, who are currently in third. So if we get a win, we leapfrog them and West Ham also with Chelsea. And we'll go into second place. I've got a good feeling about today's game. I really, really, really want to get a good result against one of the so-called big teams. I mean, in terms of a league table at the moment, this is a massive game. Um, since we last saw each other, we've only had two games since the Manchester United result. 1-0 against Newcastle, good solid performance from the team, um, we ended up winning 1-0, Song getting himself on the score sheet. Unfortunately the FA Cup run is over, really disappointed with this because I wanted to win you know, some form of silverware at some point this season. I thought the FA Cup was going to be our best shot, um, but we just we, we, it was in the replay against Derby and unfortunately rotated too much of a team round, it was my fault. Um, yeah, just unfortunately the players that came in just weren't good enough. Should have set ourselves up in a more defensive system, but we went for it. And by half time, it was 3 0, it was game over. Damari Gray got ourselves a goal back, and we really went for it in terms of an attacking sense, but just couldn't find a second goal. The game pretty much ran its course. Um, so, yeah, really disappointed. But hoping to get back with winning ways at home against Everton. The early result in the season against them, um, we lost 3-1 away from home with Lukaku getting himself a couple of goals, so that's something to be wary about. Um, but the team is ready and raring to go, so normal sort of team in terms of formation and lineup, etc. Um, we've really got to press home and hopefully get ourselves a good result today. So let's go into the matchup and see how we get on. Looks like Seamus Coleman and James McCarthy are going to be um, out injured for Everton. So they start with Robles in goal, Leighton Baines, Funes More, Jagielka, John Stones. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a hold of him during the summer window. But Tom Cleverley, Ross Barkley, Delafeo, Naismith, Morales and Lukaku. So a very attacking front five for Everton. Um... So that's something we're going to have to be quite wary of in terms of this game. I'm going to say City plays in an assertive way. We owe Everton after what happened. Look at that. We owe Everton. Let's really get out. Um... So, let's start off in the game. Christian Eriksen plays with the Galloway. I'm hoping for a good result. We've... we've um... we, we just need to do better against these, these so-called bigger teams. Um, today's going to be a massive match. Everton are, well, they're playing really, really well this season. They keep continuing to win, but hopefully we can get, you know, get ourselves involved in the game and get ourselves a win. But Harry Kane's on the ball now. He's taken it past Jagielka's song. There was nobody in the box, so he went to cut the ball back, and the deflection is put up high for a corner, um, which Everton are able to clear. So, quite a positive start from us, but Deli Ali picks up the ball. He's just been tackled. Dyer out to Lamella, out to Danny Rose, and Jagielka with the shot. Now, I'm just. The temptation is to try and change the tactic because of how previous results have been going against this, you know, against other teams. But let's just see how we go on from this attack here. And Delafeo's just had a shot, which has just hit the post. So a massive chance for Everton there. They've just hit the post. Let's just... It seems to be a bit of a running theme in terms of possession, but we seem to be grinding out results. So I'm not overly concerned. Um, 25 minutes in, though. I'm just going to change things up ever so slightly. Retain possession. Standard formation. I'm thinking of taking Christian Eriksen off at half time, or maybe Lamella, but I want to see how how they're both performing by half time. I just feel like another man in the middle to support Deli Ali would really help, because Everton are doing quite well in terms of 
sort of like an attacking sense. Not maybe necessarily in this game at the moment, but they are in general. Um, but Song's on the ball. Plays it to Ericsson. Surrounded by three Everton players, but Lamella's now got the ball. Now his deflection sets up a break potentially for Everton, but Danny Rose wins the ball back. Well done, lad. Plays it back to Lamella. To Danny Rose. To Lamella. Inside to Ericsson. What can he please? He plays it to Danny Rose. Harry Kane. Shot is saved. First real clear cut chance of the match, and it goes our way. Unfortunately, Harry Kane's shot is well saved. And it looks like it's going to run through to half time. Oh, maybe not. There's another highlight. Kane back to Ali to Ericsson. Tackled by Clevy. Good tackle there. But Lamella into Kane. He's got the ball. He plays it back to Deli Ali. He plays a good ball out to Rose. Ball in the middle. And Song has scored. Song again. The man on the right hand side. Great ball in by Danny Rose. So we're going to be taking a 1 0 lead into half time here. A fantastic goal. It's just trying to load up a highlight now as we speak. But good interplay between Deli Alley and Ericsson and Kane. Rose with a great ball in. A song just leapt above his marker. And we're 1-0 up in what is, let's face it, a massive game. So we're running at half time now. I'm going to say things are going well. Keep it up. Um, let's switch to counter-attacking and really hit them on the break now. It's down to Everton to come at us. They're, they're the ones that have got to try and get back into the game. So let's not go too silly. Let's use our pace. Let's, let's use our attacking style in the right way in the second half. But Ericsson now has the ball to Song. Plays it to Eric Dyer. Out to Trippier. And it's 2 0. And song again. Yes, you little beauty. I don't care how the goals come. But Trippier on the right hand side has been a bit of an unsung hero so far. So far up the pitch. Stone, Stone's tried to head out. Song's there to get the tap in. I'll say tap in. He actually fired it in. And we're 2 0 up. Song's now on the ball here in the next attack. Harry Kane's just hit the post. He's just hit the post. And that could have been 3 0. And instead, a highlight straight away at the other end. And Kevin Morales has just got a goal back for Everton. It's 2 1, and we've got a game on our hands. It looks like the deflection came off Galloway. The goalkeeper's already dived. None of our players react. And there is Kevin Morales to tap in. To make it 2-1. What can we do now on the next highlight? Deli Alley is on the ball. He plays it out. But Stones intercepts. Aldevera with a header. Alley back to Lamella. Who's tackled by Ross Barkley. And Everton are now on the attack. But Aldevera clears it. Jagielka. Very good game of football so far. But Song with the ball in. Harry Kane's at the back post. Let's see, 22nd goal of the season and we are 3-1 up. What a game of football. What a game. Song with a great ball in. Harry Kane's at the back post. John Stone's not marking his man. Um, maybe he thinks he's playing for us. <laughs> maybe he wishes he was playing for us. So, 3-1, 65 minutes in. I'm going to make a couple of subs now. So Lamella and Deli Alley I'm going to take off. So Lamella for Townsend. Bentaleb for Deli Alley. Let's play Bentaleb as a deep line playmaker. Just a couple of fresh legs to uh, hopefully now just run out the game. And this will be our first win if we could hold on. Against one of his so-called big boys in the team. In the league, rather. So, 10 minutes left. I'm going to make our third and final sub. Eric Dyer's fitness every single game is a bit of a concern here. But, I'm just going to take Danny Rose off. Vertonghen's just going to go in at... Uh, we'll just change those two around. So, Galloway goes in back in at left back. And Vertonghen's just going to slot nicely in at centre-half. 
so three one at the moment but we're 83 minutes into the game and Everton are on the attack now but Tongman's just completely I don't even know what he was doing there but the, the, the attacker just completely skipped past him Lukaku's have been close with the header and now Everton continue to attack so Morales cuts inside here he's on the edge of the box but Lloris safely grabs hold of it and it remains 3-1 so the highlights just keep on coming and Lukaku has got himself a goal and it's now panic stations and who was that was that Alderweireld was that Alderweireld it was Alderweireld just completely switched off no one no one picking up their man and now Everton here oh god Gibson's just hit the post oh thank the lord 3-2 winners thank god well that was harder work that was harder work than it needed to be but as a result as if things are still incredibly tight up here at the moment but we're now three points clear of Chelsea in fifth place we're up to second I'm not going to get ahead of ourselves at the moment because it's just been so up and down this season but we're currently sitting in second and finally got a win against a so-called big team um, but the next game I'll be showing you against now will be Dynamo in the second leg I'll play the first leg behind the scenes. Um, hopefully we can establish ourselves into a good point. But it'll be Dynamo that you'll see in the next round of the Europa League. Um, so if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Details to Twitter, as always, will be in the description below. Um, but until next time, adios.